In this video, we're going to focus on subtraction of number bases. So let's say you are given 111 in base 2 minus 101 in base 2. So how can we solve this problem? Before we start, one important thing you should note is that when it comes to number bases, we always start solving from the right column by column to the left. So in this case, we're going to start from this column and then subtract to the left, right? So we have 1 minus 1 is 0, so we're going to write 0 here. Then on the next column, we have 1 minus 0, which is 1. So we have 1 here. Then on the last column, we have 1 minus 1, which is 0, right? So if I write a 0, it is the same as 1, 0, right? Then you put up your base, which is base 2, and then you are done. Now let's move on to the next example. How can we solve this problem? Like I said before, always we start solving column by column from the right. So we have 4 minus 1, which is 3. So I'm going to write 3 here. Then on the next column, we have 3 minus 4, which is impossible when it comes to number bases, right? So what we're going to do is to borrow one from this two. So we're going to borrow one from here. Because we are dealing with base 5, any one that we borrow is equal to 5. So we're going to have plus 5 here. So we have 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. Then here, remember, we took 1 from these two. So we are left with 1. Therefore, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, which is the same as what? 43. And always don't forget your base. Put up your base, which is base 5. And pretty much this is it. Now let's move on to the next example. We have 6, 1, 2 in base 8 minus 4, 6, 3 in base 8. You can pause the video and try this one first. Done. Now let's proceed. We have 2 minus 3, which is impossible. So what we're going to do is to borrow one from this. So we're going to borrow one from here. Now we are dealing with base 8, so the one that we borrowed is equal to 8. So we're going to have plus 8 here. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. So we're going to have 7 here. Now let's focus on the next column. We have 0 minus 6, which is impossible. So what we're going to do is to borrow 1 from base 6. So we have minus 1 here. And remember, we are dealing with base 8. So the one that we borrowed is equal to 8. So we're going to have... 8 here. 8 minus 6 is 2. So we have 2 here. Then here we are left with 5. So we have 5 minus 4, which is equal to 1. And as always, don't forget your base, base 8. And pretty much that is it. Now let's move on to the last example. We have 1, 0, 3, 0, 1 in base 4 minus 3, 3, 2, 0 in base 4. Feel free to pause the video and try this first. Now let's start. We have 1 minus 0, which is 1. So I'm going to write 1 here. Then here we have 0 minus 2, which is impossible. So we're going to borrow 1 from here. But since we are dealing with base 4, we're going to have plus 4 here. So we have 4 minus 2, which is 2. Then here we are left with 2. So we have 2 minus 3, which is impossible. So we we'll move on and then borrow one from here. But since here is zero, we will move forward and then borrow one from this one. Now the one that we borrowed is equal to four. So we're going to have four here. Then you borrow one again from this one. So we're going to have four here again. And remember, we have here to be two. Four plus two is six. Six minus three is three. So we're going to have three here. Then remember, we took one from here. So we are left with three. 3 minus 3 is 0, so it means that our final answer turns out to be 3, 2, 1 in base 4. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. You can check my other videos for addition of number bases. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.